Okay, I'm waiting for these lifters to bleed down, which is going to be a long time, I bet. It's not moving. I'm going to at least put the rocker box, the lower box on here. I just can't put the rocker arms on yet. So we got the gasket on here the correct direction. Let's get the screw that goes around the seals out. Gallery. So I'm going to go ahead and put the in the back. These have been pre lubed. A little more room on this one. This still doesn't fit the coil in there. Yeah, coil issue. because there's no rocker stand here in the mouth. Okay, why are you so close? Can't see shit. Get the gasket out of the way, get the bolt started. Okay, all of started. Let me just go ahead and get these in there. We just can't do all the other stuff. Turn this motor over the rockers up in the air like that, we will, we can bend valves. Yeah. Break valve guides. Cause headaches. Yeah, the head might not be happy with broken valve guides. <laughs> cracks the valve guide balls. Yeah, minor problems. Nothing serious. You know, I think it really makes a huge difference. It will definitely flatten out valve seals. <laughs> Push it that way, and the side to side should go away as I'm pushing against the circles around. Bolts. Right. So I just put a little tension on them when I get where I want to be. And I'll hold it. I'm going to bring these down further. Who are you there? What's up, Freddy? Somebody woke up, Fred. Oh, the freaking dog next door started it and then stupid dim air thing you got over there. Your central air heating is bothering you? What about the air compressor in here? Is it you? Yeah, that's what he's talking about. And then they, and somebody's watching something on TV pretty loudly too. Oh, is she? Oh my god, fuck it. I'll get up. Well, I think I'll we'll be starting the bike tonight. Huh? I'm going to be starting the bike up tonight. We're going to get it together, huh? We have a problem with the lifters. Mm -hmm. Let me put some molasses in there. <laughs> What's going on? We used uh, 70 weight. 
assembly lube <laughs> and our uh, tappets and they're uh, they're leaking down real slow. You got that five and ten minute test I got? Yeah, we'll wait out. <laughs> okay, center this up. Yeah, I'm gonna tighten down this one now. That one just hit. Get the other one over there on this side. Okay, we're back. Okay, so the trick of opening this valve up and letting it get some pressure on it, allow this thing to bleed. You now to rotate it. Are you done making noise over there? So now it's rotatable. So I got this other one up a little bit higher now. Meantime, we finished tightening up these ones. So now, as soon as this one bleeds down, we can turn the motor over. But I can also cheat, turn them over the way that doesn't open, get on top that's not out. Hmm. But you gotta make sure you come back and make sure it's closed before you turn the motor over. Oh, yeah. Which might be hard to remember. <laughs> <laughs> Especially in our state of mind. Right. Yeah. It's 4 a.m. So let's get going on the, you gotta put some oil plugs back in this thing down here so right. we don't lose the oil pan. Yeah. So once you do that, keep saying yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's that? Yeah. Okay. Red's going back again. It's good enough. Put a bag on. The leaks replace it later. Unless you have an O-ring for it, O-ring kit. Did you pull them both out or just one? Both. They're the same. There's one different than the other. Different. Well, no, they appear to be the same. They look the same to me. Yeah. yeah. Great. Looks easy to screw up. Yeah. Great planning. Okay, we need the exhaust uh, gaskets. Appears that we have two flat ones and two regular ones, tapered ones. How's it look? It doesn't work very well. There we go. That was bad for a tripod. You like that view? Look at that. Ingenuity. We're going to use the tapered ones because that's what came out of it. Late model bike. These are performance ones. They have a bigger hole in them. Don't want to use those. Go too fast. So, make sure the funnel side comes out. I means fat side inside, skinny side outside. A lot of times these don't go in very good, so you gotta try to squeeze them in equally, don't let them roll over. Tight, but in. <clears throat> there you go. Pushing that flush with your fingers. Definitely in there tight. What are you doing over there? Making noise. Frames in the way. Frames in the way. Ah. 
straps in here. Good. It's just nothing different than normal. Um, can't even see in there how much you have to get in there. It's in there now. Yeah, see how much clearance you got to get in there? It's really hard to see in there. It's up in there. There you go. It's hard to get right here. You can't push very hard right here. It's in there though. You stuff the pipe in there going the rest of the way. What are you doing over there? Rearranging? Ooh. That's your old dump area? Or you just put it on the shelf, forget about it up there? Well, for the moment, because I can't find my, uh, my, ten, my five gallon bucket that I put in there. That was full. Oh. I'm gonna start another one, I just don't know which one it is. Okay. So then I'll drain that primary, it wouldn't be trouble. Okay, you guess you gotta pull this filter out and put a filter in it. Okay, we're going to go ahead and kick this thing back and see if we can yeah, find the direction. Lowers the rocker. See how the rocker went down? So we just kick it back like this a little bit. Come over here so we can move that push rod. Nope. Not yet. Not doing it yet. So I'm going to open it up. more pressure on it. So we got it opened up again. We'll let it sit for another 10-15 minutes. Alright, we'll be back.